Art After the Dark. Look at these two art pieces. They look the same, don't they? They seem a bit confusing. You see a baby crying. What comes to mind? What does this artwork really mean besides just the baby? Why would the artist do such a thing? It might seem haunting, but I guarantee you that is the most beautiful art piece. David Alvaro Cisqueros is the famous artist of this art piece. Cisqueros created paintings expressing the human struggle. He was born on December 29, 1896 in Chihuahua City, Mexico, where later he died on January 6, 1974 in Cuernavaca, Morelos. By 1908, he left to Mexico City to study art and architecture at the Franco-English College. By 1910, he was already involved in student strikes such as the one at the San Carlos Academy that made an impact change to the school teaching methods, not only joining strikes but also joining the Constitutional Army and he became a Marxist at a very young age. Echo of a Scream was made in 1937 whereas the Spanish Civil War came along in 1936. Spanish Morocco and Spain military officers began all of this war and Cisqueros had decided to be part of this dangerous war. The Spanish Civil War had been one of the bloodiest wars ever, where they suffered extreme human loss. But why would such tragedy occur? General Francisco Franco started the Spanish army by rebelling against the Second Republic. Francisco Franco was the famous general and dictator who ruled Spain. He was even supported by Hitler. Alfaro disliked this so much that this is where he became a Marxism. Alfaro believed that everyone should be treated the same. According to the article Mexican Muralism Movement, Artists and Major Works, it explains to fight for you. Fight for what you think is right. Marxism is a system of economic, social and political philosophy that are ideas that can be seen as a change in the social world of economics. Echo of a Scream was made in 1937. It is enameled on wood in which measures 48 inches by 36 inches. In this image we see where it is currently located. It is currently located in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Visualizing this art piece would be a tough one. You have shading almost anywhere. Non-primary colors are used here. Since most of it is black and white, you can say it's all mixed together. Overlapping of the baby and the materials on the floor is quite another one interesting. Movement can even be seen as we see the baby froze in a position of screaming. This painting seems to have an uneven texture, meaning rough. The colors are very dark throughout the whole painting, using non-primary colors as I said before. This would represent the dark times caused by the war. Now moving in closer to the artwork, we see at the top left corner a tree that is far away that represented the farms and the growing of the crops. Then looking at the top right corner, we see the chimneys of factories that symbolize the growth of industry. Not just the industry, but the natural way of living in conflict. Continuing with the top of the art piece, we see smoke that is being faded, which means that the hopes of people of things getting better are fading from them. The middle of the painting shows the overlapping of the mechanical objects that represent the debris of the destruction of machines. It also shows how primary colors are added, such as the dark red, which might represent the human loss and the dry blood from these human beings. As we move to the center where the baby is located, we see something that really catches our eye, and it is a red cloth. This is the baby's blood. Not only do we see the red cloth, but the movement of the baby with distortion in which is the pain. Behind it we see the echo, the echo of a baby that is not being heard. One thing that remains into mystery until this day is the skin color of the baby. What skin color was it meant to be? The only one that knows is David Alfaro Cisqueros. Maybe there was a reason to leave us in suspense? Now we look at the bottom of this art piece. Next to the dry blood, we see coat hangers. 
These coat hangers were used by pregnant women to make their own abortions called coat hanger abortion. This will prevent them from bringing innocent lives to this world. The painting as a whole shows us how humans suffer for the actions of others. It is amazing to see how a painting's detail can mean so much. David Alfaro Cisqueros did not only create this painting, but he did many more. He also made paintings with other big people, such as Jose Clemente Orozco and Diego Rivera. They were all known as Los Tres Grandes. Los Tres Grandes created Mexican muralism. According to the article Mexican muralism Los Tres Grandes, David Alfaro Cisqueros, Diego Rivera, and Jose Clemente Orozco state that these artworks were created to send out a message to the public of what occurs. It was to educate people about the past and present. The art piece that I created compares to David Cisquero's artwork because it teaches about the world. It is educating the people out there about what we are doing to our community. We do not see it because we are too busy, too busy destroying our community. We tend to do things with our eyes closed. We need to open those eyes and see what is happening around us. I chose to do this art piece with the Mexico flag and the United States flag. I burn them because that is what we are doing. We are burning our country slowly. I put both on top of each other because that is how our world is being portrayed. Presidents are fighting to who is better and who will be better. Since when did all human beings become a competition? Why can't we just all get along? We are all human beings, aren't we? They all deserve all types of awards because they taught us that art can be used to educate people, to help open eyes of our communities. David Alfaro Cisqueros helped us to be reminded, help us to be reminded of the Spanish Civil War that should be remembered for those innocent lives that were killed.